Oh yeah, this was very challenging. It seems like everything works against you. Mm. Welcome folks. Thank you. Appreciate you coming by today. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Pull the trigger on the button, would you please? And uh, those of you that are Patreon patrons, you guys are so awesome. Thank you. If you're not a Patreon patron, go to the link that I'll have down below or up here in the corner somewhere. Check it out. We'd love your support. Thank you in advance. So today uh, I've got a little project I've got to get done. Uh, I'm here in the little covered patio alcove area of my backyard. And um, it's that time of year that that barn swallows, or cliff swallows, actually, um, are prevalent and they're everywhere. And there's a little bit of a, a love-hate relationship with those creatures. Uh, because, well, one, I love them because they eat flying insects. And you can see them flying around, darting around, and they're catching mosquitoes and flies and all sorts of flying insects that we don't like to have around. And they eat them for lunch and dinner and breakfast and feed them to their young. We love it. What we don't like about it is they like to build little mud houses off in corners like that uh, where it's nice and covered safe and dry and all of that and i don't blame them but uh i don't want them on my house because well the mud and all that do you know how they make their nests right that's right they kind of gather mud and water and vomit it up and then they stick it all together and make a little mud hut yeah and they live in there so what I might end up doing is building a little place away from the house where they can certainly do that in protection and uh, so we can have them around and, and not ruining my house. Now right now, as you can see, it doesn't look like there's anything there. That's because it was all covered in mud yesterday. I ended up cleaning it up and uh, I, I didn't show you any of that, but probably should have but I'm going to show you how I'm going to solve the problem of them coming back in. Uh, I will say, originally, I did have some tin foil taped down atop the, uh, the uh, trim there, and that seemed to be a good deterrent until they realized, well, if I just stomp down on the tin foil, it won't be so scary anymore. So that's what they did, and they started putting mud on top of it and building houses. <clears throat> so I've come up with an idea, and I'm going to take you right along with me. Let me show you. Now that step ladder that you see right here uh, has been there all night long. And the reason why I kept it there was it seems to be working like a scarecrow. It's amazing. Um, the bird saw me getting up there and cleaning everything and uh, I left that step stool there. Uh, they haven't come back yet, but I can't keep the step stool there. I got to come up with a different solution. So I did. So after measuring it, I see that the top of my window is six foot. It's actually the, 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 the window frame is six foot and a half inch, but six foot is good enough. I happen to have a stick that's uh, six foot long and it's about an inch by an inch. It's some remnant of a plant stake that I, I made and uh, it'll come in handy. Then I have some leftover hardware fabric, they call it. It's quarter inch hardware fabric that uh, this side here is three foot in length. I'm gonna cut two sections that'll give me six foot. And each section is gonna be, oh, I don't know, four inches or so. That should be enough. And then I'm gonna assemble it in such a way that it should be a good deterrent to those little cliff swallows. Let me take you down here and you take a look. All right, the, the idea here is rather simple. I'm gonna take this piece of wood, which is made out of cedar, and uh, gonna brush it down just so that there isn't a whole lot of, you know, uh -huh. I'm gonna sh on it. The cut side's okay. I just recently cut this uh, for other purposes, and this was left over, and it's uh, quite handy. I love this stainless steel brush. Works good. All right, now the idea here is uh, this is exactly six foot long from tip to one tip to the other. And uh, let's put this up here. And now 
Let's put that aside. I'm going to grab my hardware fabric and this is a little unwieldy guys. There you go. Grab my hardware fabric and I'm going to cut about four inches which is roughly 16 squares. That's right these are quarter inch squares. Going to cut 16. Let me grab my cutters and be right back. Well, of course that was going to happen. Oh, and of course that was going to happen. So let's count down. 16. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's about 4 inches. And I'm going to cut to the, hmm, to that. So let's, uh, let's listen to some music while I cut this. Now we're getting down towards the end here. I just want to find out how you guys doing. We haven't done a check-in Tuesday in a while. And um, many of you were responding to that. And for that I'm grateful. And I'm happy to have been uh, a sounding board for many of you. But uh, since we have this moment, how are you? What's going on? Take a moment while I'm doing this and maybe write down in the comments something that you're grateful for um, maybe something that's distressing you um, or you know maybe you see a comment down there that you can be of help to and uh, you could be of help to somebody so reach out to them help them out if there's no comments down there <laughs> be the first I just want to know how you're doing. All right. So there's my first strip. Now it just so happens. Uh, yeah. 36 inches. So I get to do this again. And then. Um, I'll tell you what. We'll take a look at a couple of flowers. And then we'll come back. And we'll have another one cut. Okay. All right, we're about halfway there. our Amazon link down below. When you do, it helps us out and it doesn't cost you a penny more. And after using the link, save it to your bookmarks so you can have easy access to it in the future. Thank you. Okay. Just about done. Okay. Got two strips of this. Um... I'm going to put away the, this is kind of dangerous, it's very sharp, so be careful if you play with this stuff. Give me a minute, I'm going to put this away so I don't hurt myself. All right, now that we got that cut up, um, I'm not going to paint this. I'm just going to leave it kind of rustic looking. And then I'm going to bend about a half inch of this so that when it's attached, it'll, it'll be pointing straight up. And then I'm going to cut down maybe half inch, maybe three quarter inch strips so that they kind of stick up pointy like this. And hopefully that's going to be a deterrent to those little birds. Um, when they come and try to land on it, it's too pokey and uh, they, won't, they won't try to build a nest on it. So hopefully this will be a little more rigid. I am going to put the pointy end up. There's a, a blunt end here. I'm going to put that and attach that to the wood. And then hopefully it'll be pointy enough, like I said. Let me, um, 
Let me start fabricating this. Oh, and then I'll just take my uh, electric stapler and staple the thing down so the, the wire will stay there and then we'll attach that to the doorway. I am gonna get some gloves on. My hands are too tender. <laughs> this stuff is really sharp, so you gotta be careful. I'll put that aside. Um, I'm gonna give, let's see. Should I use this as a template? Probably, that might be the smart thing, huh? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we will just go at it. I have a feeling I'm gonna need to bend this thing up and maybe before I attach it to the wood I will uh, need to cut the strips that I want to cut because I don't know I don't know I haven't thought thought it through quite that far yet what do you guys think start screaming at the at your computer or at your cell phone or however you're watching me by the way how do you watch I'm kind of curious um, do you watch on your mobile device? Do you watch, yeah, you see how that's going to turn out? I think that's going to be okay. Do you watch on your desktop computer? Do you have a laptop computer? I'm kind of curious. Tell me. I'd like to know. I'm going to cut down here before I attach it. I'm probably going to be angry with myself doing that but I ha also have a feeling trying to mess around with a six foot length of this stuff while it's cut is gonna be rather difficult give me a minute guys we will be right back you know what I discovered shooting gal had these crafty scissors that uh, are designed to cut sheet metal and copper, steel and whatnot. And uh, I'm gonna use it on this. Cause I find that if I just count one, two, three and I cut and I go one, two, three, and then I cut, I, it just does it all in one fell swoop. And I can cut multiples um, at one time rather than using the diagonals. Okay, one, two, three, and then we cut. Oh, I'm liking this. Guys, I'm going to put a link to this down in the description below. These are made by, and they're, I'm not affiliated or anything with them, but if you use my Amazon page uh, or my Amazon link, you'll go to Amazon and you can buy one of these. I'll get the, uh, I'll get the name of this guy. Oh, yeah. I'm liking this. All right. Let's keep going. One, two, three, cut. I'll just go all the way in there. Look at that. I should have done this before instead of boring you with the, well, I didn't know. Now I know. There you go. One, two, three, and then do that. Oops. Not critical. And then one, two, three. All right. This still is going to take a little while. I'll come back. Hang tight. Maybe I'll speed things up. One, two, three. Easy peasy with this stuff, man. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Hey, do you guys have uh, cliff swallows or barn swallows where you are? Do you have this kind of a, a hassle? You know, until we moved here to Texas, um, we certainly had swallows uh, in the area that we lived in. We lived in the San Francisco Bay Area, and uh, we certainly had swallows, but they were not making nests on our on our house they were uh, staying far away we'd go see the swallows the swallows at Capistrano you're familiar with all that right four 
Yeah. Capistrano. If I find it, I'm going to roll in a clip that we did. One, two, three, four. Um, with Shooting Kid, back when he was a little guy, it was a school project, a, a report, and we shot video while at um, San Juan Capistrano. And he talked a little bit about it. If I find it, I'll roll some in right here. That might, you might find that kind of interesting. The first ch church was Friar Sarah's Chapel. There was too many people, so they built a new larger cathedral in 1806. In 1812, an earthquake split in the cathedral roof in half. It came crashing down, killing 40 people. Ouch. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you want to come down to see more Capistrano. It is very nice and fun. You will get to hear uh, this person talking on this little microphone thing. This little microphone thing, and you'll get a map of San Juan Capistrano. And um, hope you have a great time. So, um, San Juan Capistrano. <laughs>
Um, let's just get it done. Looks like I didn't get all the remnants out. Oh, there's some more of that stuff. Okay, make that three. Now the object here is to make this uninhabitable. And usually it's in these corners that it's a problem. So I'm gonna just, like every other one or so, make it so uncomfortable that they won't wanna be here. Every third, every, yeah, there you go. Something like that. We'll go down the whole length. And then we'll step back and take a look. <laughs> we'll see. Well, barely noticeable, right? I can't really see it much. I know it's there, but I think uh, from an aesthetic standpoint, I think it's okay. It's better than having mud up there, that's for sure. Thank you again, folks, for joining me today. It is much appreciated that you're here. Was this beneficial to you? Does this help you? I hope so. If you guys are having troubles with swallows like we are, I'm going to report back to you soon how well this thing works. I think it's going to work really good. And then aesthetically, like I said, not bad. Not bad at all. Don't forget, subscribe, please. Like and share. I would appreciate it. Thank you. All right, that's all I got. Had fun today. Well, yeah, it was fun. A little challenging at times, but it's the course of business, right? It's, uh, we have to toil on this earth a fact of life. I hope you're not toiling alone. If you have any questions or things you want to comment on, do them down below in the comment section. Be happy to respond. I try to respond to them all. Or just send me a DM. You can do that too. The shooting guy at gmail.com. I try to answer all my emails. I love you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. videos is glamorous and easy and confident. You got another thing coming.